Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you Class E Commutation of SCR. This is lecture number 48 of Power Electronics Series. So let's start with the topic. Class E Commutation, as we know, is a type of force commutation technique from which we turn off the SCR. In my previous video, I have already explained about different methods of force commutation just like class A, class B, class C, class D commutation. So here this is the fifth method of force commutation that is called class E commutation. It is also known as external pulse commutation. Why it is known as external pulse commutation? Because by generating external current pulse, we turn off the main SCR. That is why it is called external pulse commutation. Now we discuss the circuit diagram of external pulse commutation or class E commutation. So this is the circuit diagram of class E commutation. Here we use two voltage source. First is Vs. Vs is the main voltage source and V1 is the auxiliary voltage source or we also call external voltage source. Here we use three thyristor T1, T2, T3. T1 is the main thyristor and T2 and T3 are the auxiliary thyristor. Some other components we also use L or C. L or C are basically work like a commutating component and this is the load. So this is the whole description of class E commutation circuit diagram. Here we see in the circuit diagram this circuit is divided into two parts. First part is this. This is the main circuit because here main thyristor, main voltage source and load is connected. And this is the commutation circuit through which we generate external pulse and turn off the main thyristor T1. Uh, now move on the working of class E commutation. How we turn off T1 thyristor with the help of this commutation circuit. So here I explain you the working of class E commutation. First we assume that all three thyristor is initially turn off. So T1, T2, T3 all thyristor is initially turn off. When all thyristor is turn off, they all are behave like a open circuit and no current flow across the circuit. So initially capacitor is charged with zero voltage, inductor is also having no charge. So first we obtain the output voltage across load or output current across load. First we turn on T1 thyristor by applying a gate triggering pulse. When we apply gate triggering pulse across T1 thyristor, T1 gets short circuited and current flow from supply voltage T1 thyristor load and back to the supply voltage. It means current follow this path. When current follow this path, output voltage across load is equals to the supply voltage. Now we know that thyristor is basically a self latching device. It means we turn on thyristor with the help of applying gate triggering pulse. But we don't have control to turn off the SCR. So we turn off this SCR with the help of this external commutation circuit. Now we turn on T3 thyristor first. To turn on T3 thyristor, we give gate triggering pulse to T3 thyristor. When we apply gate triggering to T3 thyristor, T3 thyristor is turned on and behave like a short circuit. And current flow from V1, T3 thyristor, inductor from capacitor and back to the voltage. When current flow in this direction, we know that the property of inductor, when current flow through inductor, inductor stores some charge. So inductor that time stores some charge and the polarity across inductor is right side terminal is positive and left, left terminal is negative because current flow in this direction. Now current flow through the capacitor and capacitor is also charged with V1 voltage. Okay, so at this time capacitor voltage is equals to V1 and the polarity of capacitor is upper plate positive and lower plate negative. After that inductor releases its energy. So when inductor releases its energy it changes polarity. So now inductor releases its en energy by changing its polarity. So the polarity across inductor is right side plate is negative and left side potential right side terminal is negative or left terminal is positive and inductor releases energy in this direction. At this time instant inductor delivers its whole energy to the capacitor. V1 voltage capacitor already have and when 
इंडक्टर गिव एनर्जी टू कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटर फर्दर चार्ज विद बी वन वोल्टेज सो वी वन वी वन टू वी वन वोल्टेज नाउ वी टर्न ऑन टी टू थायरेस्टर सो टू टर्न ऑन टी टू थायरेस्टर वी अप्लाई गेट ट्रिगरिंग पल्स टू थायरेस्टर टी टू वेन वी गेव गेट ट्रिगरिंग पल्स टू थायरेस्टर टी टू टी टू गेट टर्न ऑन एंड बिहेव लाइक अ शॉर्ट सर्किट दिस टाइम कैपेसिटर रिलीज इट्स एनर्जी इन दिस डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम टी टू लोड एंड बैक टू द कैपेसिटर इट मीन्स कैपेसिटर करेंट फ्लो इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड द होल वोल्टेज इज अपियर अक्रॉस द लोड सो द लोड वोल्टेज दिस टाइम इज इक्वल टू टू वी वन वेन द लोड वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू टू वी वन दिस टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू टू वी वन एंड दिस टर्मिनल वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू वी एस सो हियर वी सी टी वन थायरिस्टर गेट रिवर्स बायस बिकॉज द कैथोड ऑफ द टी वन हैविंग मोर वोल्टेज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एनोड एंड टी वन थायरिस्टर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू रिवर्स बायस एंड वेन टी वन थायरिस्टर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू रिवर्स बायस टी वन थायरिस्टर गेट टर्न ऑफ एंड दिस इज द कंडीशन ऑफ सक्सेसफुल कम्यूटेशन ऑफ टी वन थायरिस्टर द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस टी वन थायरिस्टर वी वन इज ग्रेटर दैन वी एस फॉर सक्सेसफुल कम्यूटेशन सो दिस इज द होल वर्किंग ऑफ क्लास ई कम्यूटेशन If you like the video please like subscribe and share my channel for notes please visit my website the link of the website i will give in my description box and display here also